Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 137. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Nitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following are directly linked to Vedic literature? 1. Dharma Sutra 2. Akaranga Sutra 3. Avatamasaka Sutra The correct answer is Dharma Sutra. Dharma Sutra is a genre of Sanskrit texts and refers to the treatises or Shastras of Hinduism on Dharma. There are many Dharma Sutras, variously estimated to be 18 to about 100, with different and conflicting points of views. On the other hand, the Acharanga Sutra is the first of the 12 Angas, part of the Agamas, which were compiled based on the teachings of Mahavira. And the Avatamsaka Sutra is one of the most influential Mahayana Sutras of East Asian Buddhism. Which of the following provisions of the constitution did not come into force on November 26, 1949? The correct answer is fundamental rights. Though the constitution came into force on 26 November 1950, some provisions relating to citizenship, elections, provisional parliament, temporary and transitional provisions were given immediate effect on 26 November 1949. The articles which did come into force on 26 November include articles 5, 6, 8, 9, 60, 324, 366, 372, 388, 391, 392 and 393. On which date Indian constitution was finally signed by the members of Constituent Assembly? The correct answer is January 26, 1950. The constitution was adopted on 26 November 1949. However, it came into full effect from 26 January 1950. The Constituent Assembly had members from all parts of India and they were selected in such a way so as to represent all the social groups of India. By which among the following ways the Constitution Assembly generally arrived at decisions on various provisions of the Constitution? The correct answer is via consensus, that is, most of the members or a majority of members had to agree on something. The Constitution of India was drafted by the Constituent Assembly and it was implemented under the Cabinet Mission Plan on 16th May 1946. The members of Constituent Assembly were elected by the Provincial Assemblies by a single transferable vote system of proportional representation. BIFR was established under Sikh Industrial Companies Act 1985 to deal with the problems of industrial sickness with regard to the crucial sectors where public money is locked up. What is the correct expansion or full form of BIFR? The correct answer is Board of Industrial and Finance Reconstruction. BIFR was an agency of the Government of India, part of the Department of Financial Services of the Ministry of Finance. Set up in January 1987 by the Rajiv Gandhi government, its objective was to determine sickness of industrial companies and to assist in reviving those that may be viable and shutting down the others. On 1st December 2016, the now Modi government dissolved BIFR and referred all proceedings to the National Company Law Tribunal and National Company Law Appellate Tribunal as per provisions of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court. Which among the following is not an objective of DPAP or Drought Prone Area Program? Drought Prone Area Program or DPAP is the earliest area development program launched by the central government in 1973-74 to tackle the special problems faced by those fragile areas which are constantly affected by severe drought conditions. The only option here which is not an objective is to provide financial assistance to the poor farmers in the drought affected areas. Mira Seth Committee was related to which of the following? The correct answer is development of handlooms. Meera Seth is an Indian civil servant, diplomat, women's rights activist and a former chairman of UNICEF. Seth turned her studies in this particular committee into an experience book known as a Women and Development, The Indian Experience. One of Seth's key ideals is give us jobs, we can do the rest referencing the concept that giving women the ability to enter the workforce without barriers in developing countries will allow for even greater economic growth. Her studies on women's involvement in several different economic efforts such as the regulation of handlooms and fisheries is an expert on 
women and development issues. Maastricht Treaty is related to which of the following? The correct answer is Europe unification. This treaty was signed on 7 February 1992 by the members of the European Community in Maastricht, Netherlands to further European integration. In which state of India maximum diamond mines are found? The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. India does have one active diamond mine at Panna in Madhya Pradesh, which is run by the state-owned National Mineral Development Corporation. De Beers, India is also prospecting in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu for diamonds. In which year Bharat Nirman was launched? The correct answer is 2005. Bharat Nirman is an Indian business plan for creating and augmenting basic rural infrastructure. It comprises projects on irrigation, roads, housing, water supply, electrification and telecommunication connectivity. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.